Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Chong. Today, let's discuss a bit about cholesterol. Personally, as a medical student, I enjoy eating fried food, especially fast food like KFC. I wasn't really sick during that time, but I was feeling really tired and I always yawn in the class. One day, I went for a body checkup and I noticed that my numbers on the cholesterol level wasn't that good. It took me six months of lifestyle modification to actually improve my cholesterol level. So let me tell you what is cholesterol. Cholesterol is a type of fat or lipid that moves throughout your body in your blood. Is cholesterol important? Yes, for the good cholesterol, but there's also some bad cholesterol that can actually harm your body. Why is cholesterol so important? Cholesterol actually can be used by our cell membrane to form a layer which actually acts as a gatekeeper to control what's moving into the cell and out of the cell. Other than that, cholesterol is also important in producing hormone and cholesterol can be also used by the liver to produce bulk in which it helps to digest the food. But too much of cholesterol in your body can actually bring a lot of health problems as well. If the cholesterol level is too high, it is a condition called as hypercholesterolemia. There are three types of cholesterol. The first one is called as LDL, low density lipoprotein, which is your bad cholesterol. The second cholesterol is called as HDL, high density lipoprotein, is what we call as good cholesterol. And last but not least, there's something called as very low density lipoprotein which is a particle in the blood that help carries your triglycerides. Why is LDL called as bad cholesterol? Well, LDL can actually form at the wall of your arteries, which can actually block the arteries, which is a condition called as atherosclerosis, in which can lead to heart attack. LDL mostly found in animal products such as meat, butter, milk and cheese as well. Why is HDL called as a good cholesterol? It helps carry away all the bad cholesterol away from the arteries. It is believed that higher HDL can actually reduce heart disease. A lot of patients often ask me, so doctor, how do I reduce our cholesterol level in my blood? Well, actually there's a lot of factors and also ways in reducing cholesterol. The most important one is healthy lifestyle and also regular exercise. But if your cholesterol level is too high, healthy diet alone might not be enough. So sometimes doctors might prescribe some medication to help to optimize your cholesterol level. And different category of people, they will have different target level of cholesterol. It all depends on the risk. Nothing is too late. It's better to be late than never. Even if you have hypercholesterolemia, with the help of medication, lifestyle modification, you can actually prevent a heart disease. I think that's all about today. See you next time.